we are going to do a back-to-back -back swap of that standard wheel with a almost worn out tire stock gearing to as light as you can get on a ZX14 uh, Sarah carbon um, and aluminum rotor and we are currently sitting at the yellow numbers sorry green numbers of 21.6 and 125.4 foot-pounds of torque and we're gonna see what difference just the wheel package makes we got our trusty scale let's weigh the factory one with the battle axe on it and we got 30 37 pounds. And the carbon at 25 pounds, a couple ounces. As much as I can try and get my finger off of it. 25 and a half. I got the stock one at 36 and a half. So roller's spinning down. We just got done with the run. We picked up one horsepower and one foot pound of torque across the entire graph by switching the wheel and tire package. Unfortunately, they are not the same tire, um, but uh, that's 10 pounds off the rear wheel on my particular roller. Different dynos will have different results. Uh, I had to do this comparison because I have another bike that I just built the motor on and built the one on this and we got discrepancies between horsepower numbers. Um, this one right now has gone from the 206 that we have there uh, up to the uh, 222 or the 221, whichever one you want to pick. Um, the 221 is the same tire that it had before and running on E85, so same fuel. Granted, we did switch between summer blend and winter blend, unfortunately, because uh, it did take me a little while to build this thing. But anyway, this is the most of the bike that I'm going to let you see at the moment because she's naked. But, um, and I'll catch you in a little bit. Worldwide bearings, baby. One side of the chamber done. I just thought it would look kind of cool. A uh, what it looks like before you do it, after.